Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to learn how to use Pico 8. So, uh, Pico 8 is, you know, like, like a game creator, which was made using Lua. So, uh, you know, in Pico 8, you have to script using Lua. So, anyways, to start, we have to make a directory for your game, and say MKDIR. Also, if, if you did not know that there's no caps lock in it, so uh, if you press caps lock, then it just generates these weird symbol things. Some of them could be useful though, but we're gonna worry about that later. So it's gonna create a directory called uh, tutorial. If you press ls, it says tutorial because I did. Yeah, so I'm gonna say cd tutorial. Now we're inside the tutorial directory. If I press ESC, it enters into this game editor. So in this place is for so this place is for the code. This place is for the sprites. This is for the levels. This is for the sound. This is for the music. We're gonna be focusing on these two now. Okay, so we're gonna also if you press ESC, then it goes back into the terminal. So the first thing we're gonna write is CLS. So CLS is a function. So now, if I press ESC, and then I write run, it runs the project, and it clears the screen, because the CLS function clears the screen. Okay, so, uh, we're also gonna learn how to print things. If I write print, hello, oh, well. Uh, actually, instead of printing hello, I'm just gonna print one of these symbols. So, um, yeah, if I run it, it prints the symbols that I wrote. But it can specify the X and Y, which you want it to print. Let's see. So, I'm going to print it into the center of the screen, which is 64, 64. Because it's Pico 8, is 128 by 128. But, I mean, as you can see, it's not in the center because it has four characters. So, in the next position, I'm going to set the X position to 60. Oh, uh, then I'm going to set it to 50, like 6. Uh, Okay, so now it's more in the center. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna print another piece of text. I was gonna say hello. And its X position is gonna be 20, and the Y position is gonna be 30. So you can see that it's gonna print under uh, the, the other thing that we wrote. Yeah, we could also use variables, just like how we can in Lua. It's gonna say word is equal to uh, string. So now instead of writing printing these weird symbols, I'm gonna say print word. So now I print, you know, what's inside the word variable. Okay, so now, so now we're done with this text. We have to learn how to do sprites. I'm just uh, I delete this word to be over here, and then I'll only print hello. So uh, we have to, we have to go to the sprites. It's for that draw a sprite. So I'm just gonna, uh, you know, like draw a simple sprite, Siggy. Okay, so now I have the simple sprite ciggy. So after drawing your sprite, you have to look at the number on your sprite. So it says zero zero one, which means that it's sprite one. Like if you draw, okay, if you draw a sprite here, it will be sprite thirty nine. If you draw a sprite here, it will be sprite sixty three. Now to go to this one place and you draw more sprites and more and more. Okay, so you can draw a maximum of two hundred fifty five sprites if you were interested. So this is the sprite one, as you can see here. So I'm going to say SPR, which means sprite. You have to write the number of the sprites. The number of the sprites is called the X and Y positions. It's going to be fifty and fifty. So now you can see that the sprite appears there, and uh, you know it's, it's there. Okay, so uh, like you can print this other sprite that you know cup is pre-made. So I'm gonna like. Print it. So I'm gonna say SPR uh, zero comma seventy comma thirty. So now it prints it over there. And so now I'm gonna delete that for now. And now 
we're going to learn how to make things boo. But to do that, we're going to have to completely rewrite our code. So to do so, we need three functions. The, fu the function init, the function draw, and the function update. So we're going to need the function init. Let's write end as well. Function draw. And function update. Alright, so now we have these three functions. Oops, I ran in. If I run the project, uh, you can see that it, it does like that. So if I press ESC and go back to the editor, so in the function in it, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just doing the function draw. I'm going to say SPR one comma fifty comma fifty. Actually, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna say one comma sixty four comma sixty four. So it draws in, in the middle of the screen. All right. So now you can see that's uh, well, it's kind of weird. But to fix that, we have to go to the init place. Oh, actually, we have to go into the draw place. And then write CLS. Alright, so now we clear this. And, and we press ESC to go back to the terminal. Okay, so, um, yeah. What I haven't told you about CLS is that if you write CLS 1, it turns into blue. If you write CLS 2, it turns into purple. We're it's getting the color as well as the sprites. You can see that this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, and so on. So if I, so I'm just gonna say it's like now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I'm gonna set it to thirteen. Okay, so now we you see that the background looks like that. So if we wanna make it actually move, we're gonna have to put it into a uh we have to put it into a variable. I'm gonna say player underscore x is equal to uh sixty-four. I'm going to replace this with player underscore x. Now you can see how this thing happens, but if we want the update function, and then write player o, uh, underscore x plus equals to 1. You can see that it keeps on moving, right? So if I write player x minus equals to 1, then it keeps on moving left. We can do the same thing for the y position if we want it to. So anyways, so, so yeah, I'm going to put the player in a table. Wait, but wait. Well, actually, I'm just going to put a player on the table to organize my code. So, I'm going to say player is equal to, those who's going to make it a table. So, I'm going to say x is equal to 64, y is equal to 64, and, yeah, I forgot that commas, and spr is equal to 1. I'm actually going to write sp instead because spr is a built-in keyword. So, in here, I'm going to draw function, I'm going to say spr player dot sp comma player dot x comma player dot y so in here i'm gonna say player dot x minus equals to one so now you know it does that so and the last thing we're gonna learn about is keyboard input so you know it's like to make the inputs in the keyboard work so so you can see that if we press caps lock and then and then so it, it, breaks, it makes these weird symbols in place of the letters but some of the symbols are special. If you press U, if you, like if you turn on caps lock, then you press U, it makes up, D makes down, R makes right, L makes left. And also O and X, but I mean, we're not going to dive into that now. So anyways, I have to write if BTN, then I have to write a certain button. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to say right. Then, so if the right key is, so if the right arrow key is pressed, then player dot x plus equals two, and then I'm going to say end. So now, if you want it, if the right key is pressed and the player x plus equals two, if the right key is not pressed and the player does not move at all, so I'm going to add an else if. I'm going to say else if btn left. Then player dot x minus equals to two. So now if we press left, it moves left. So if we press right, it moves right. So I'm gonna say else if btn. So I'm gonna use up. And then player dot y plus equals. Actually, I'm gonna say minus equals two because uh, you know in here if we move, if it, you know moving up is. Minus and moving down is plus. I'm gonna say else if btn 
down. I'm gonna say I was like BCM. Down. Then put your dot. Put your dot Y plus equals to two. So now you can see that if we press left, it moves left, right, it moves right, up, it moves up, and down, it moves down. So I'm like, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. And I'm and also the last thing I want to add in this tutorial is just this like uh, text. So I'm going to say print player. So I'm going to print player. And the equation will be player dot x. Y will be player dot y. So now it prints it. You know where the player is, which we obviously don't want. So here I'm going to say player dot x minus like twenty. Oh, uh, act that's a bit too much. Put it on x minus 10. Uh, put it on x minus, minus 8. Okay, that's fine. Because, uh, you know, all the sprites in pickle 8 are 8 by 8 pixels. So, in this put dot y. I'm going to say put dot y minus 40. Oh, actually, uh, that's a bit too much. Minus 10. So, that you can see that on top of the player, the way it's hacked, so just player always on him. So yeah, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, don't like, subscribe. So bye.